Okay, so let's take a look at this question that we have. It's the exact same scenario. All of these numbers are the exact same as what we saw in the last video when we were determining the activity rate um, for these five activities here. Okay, so let's see here. We had scratched out that letter and I believe it was five activity pools rather than uh, four. Okay, so the only thing that has changed here is the question. It says, what is the cost per unit using ABC for disk drives, tape drives, and wire drives? Okay, so the good news is we've actually done a lot of this work uh, already. We've already calculated the activity rate. So now what we have to uh, account for is um, how much how much did each of these activities how much of each of these cost drivers um, impact the total cost for these three products here disk drive tape drives and wire drives okay and then we're finally going to use this column over here number of units because if we don't use that we can't arrive at cost per unit okay so we're going to look at disk drives okay the question asked for all three but we're going to look at disk drives now you may have to kind of flip back and forth uh, to your to the other side of the page um, because we're going to be needing all of these uh, rates that we had our procurement rate that we've already calculated was eighteen dollars and fifty cents we've already calculated that but now what we're going to do first is we're going to multiply it by the number of purchase orders why the number of purchase orders because the number of purchase orders is the cost driver okay so if we do that for disk drives there were 4,000 of them. And if we were to multiply 1850 times 4,000, we have a cost of $74,000. Okay. Our second activity rate that we scheduled was for, I'm sorry, that we calculated was for scheduling. And we calculated that rate as $200. Okay, we did that in the previous problem. And if we look at scheduling, the cost driver is number of production orders. Well, before we know we had to add all of these up, we're only, but now we're just gonna look at the number of production orders for disk drives. So we're gonna multiply our $200 activity rate times the number of production orders for disk drives. And if we do that, we'll come up with $60,000. Our next activity cost is materials handling. And we calculated that rate rounded as $80.65. And uh, let's see, materials handling number of moves is the cost driver. And there are 1,400 moves for disk drives. And so if we uh, multiply that, these two numbers out, we're going to come up with 112,000. Nine hundred and ten dollars. Okay, our next activity is product development, and we determined that the um, activity rate for product development, product development, was based upon the number of engineering changes. Uh, and so this was a really, really large uh, number. This was $16,222.22 times 
the number of engineering changes for the disk drive, so times 10. So if we multiply that out, we're going to come up with a rounded figure of $162,222. Finally, production. The activity rate that we calculated in the previous problem was $75. Production is based on machine hours. There were 2,000 machine hours for uh, disk drives. If we multiply that out, we come up with $150,000. The next thing we need to do is we need to add these five figures up. And if we do that, we should come up with $559,132. This is the total factory overhead cost associated with the production of disk drives. Okay, we're going to then divide that by the number of units. In this case, 2,000 units disk drives and if, we calc and if we execute that we're going to come up with a rounded cost per unit of $279 and 57 cents. Now, we, are, we don't have the space uh, because I took up so much space uh, to do tape drives and wire drives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the answers and then you're going to, uh, if you know what's good for you, you're going to um, do these, uh, you're gonna do these calculations on your own, okay? So for Tape drives, our answer is going to be $232.69. And for wire drives, I came up with $744.06. Okay, so these would be our three answers. Um, if you are unable to recreate this, you need to, um, well, you need to, you need to try to figure out what you did wrong. And if you still can't come up with the answer, um, I'm going to need you to contact me, um, and I will help you from there. Okay. All right.